Hey, Shalom, Shalom. <clears throat> All right, uh, Shalom, Shalom. Coming back again with another quick exhortation. I pray and hope that Lord Wooden is edifying to feed you, hopefully, like Aki and Wa'akwaf out there. All right, first and foremost, as always, giving all praise, glory, and honor to the true, holy, and powerful names of the Heavenly Father and His beloved Son, whom the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ. All right, true names in the Paleo Hebrew is Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. Baha Shem Wachah All right, call Halal Yamla Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, uh, the Most High Powers of Israel. And double honors to you, uh, to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well with the correct doctrines and exhortations of the heavenly scriptures. And peace and salutations to you, hopeful elect Akim that's out there teaching his word in all true faith and sincerity and fear of Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. And as well, you few sincere Akwaf, our sisters that come across these videos. Shalom. All right, man, uh, real quick. I just want to do an exhortation. All right, I'm on my lunch break right now, and uh, you know I, I went off to a uh, secluded area, somewhat secluded, you know. But anyway, um, and I was just meditating while I was on the job, man. About um, well, actually, before I was on the job, but you know about a lesson that I put together the other day. As you see here, I got some notes compiled and whatnot, and pretty much it's centered around the topic of Esau Edom being in power. Okay, I wanted to do something on the Passover. I got something on that as well. You know, the, the significance of the Passover is what I'm going to call entitled that lesson. Lord, we're not going to do that later on tonight. But um, before I got to that, I was reading in Exodus, you know, uh, starting at like the ninth chapter. You know, just going through the plagues and whatnot and, you know, our, our plight in ancient Egypt, you know, how it was and, you know, uh, um, leading up to the Passover and, and why the Passover was instituted. And, you know, so... But when I when I was reading, you know, I had to pause, you know, the spirit of how you pause on certain things, man, you know, to uh to go bring out more edification. All right. And I spoke on this uh recently in one of my recent lessons, you know, uh who is the antagonist in the Lord's movie? You know, the antagonist meaning the bad guy, okay? And this is the Lord's movie, and we're all playing a role within this uh this this uh real life algorithm, if you will. Anyway, but um yeah, so as I was reading, I'm just going to read what I what I came across in Exodus uh, 9 and 16. All right, and this links up with Romans, the ninth chapter, but Exodus 9 and 16. And it says, and in, and in very deed for this cause have I raised thee up. All right, speaking about ancient Pharaoh, all right, in Egypt, Egypt as a whole, all right, in the ancient world and, and modern day Egypt, which is America, Babylon, okay? The Lord raised, raised both of these kingdoms up, all right? And just like he did ancient Egypt, he gonna break this kingdom down as well, all right? First starting with a, a bunch of plagues, all right? Then the Lord gonna give it a final plague of that nuclear destruction, man, okay? But what you gotta understand is the Lord did it. The Lord the Lord had raised them up. Job 9 and 24, the earth is given, given. You know, you give somebody something, you you know, it's given into the hand of the wicked, all right? When you read in the book of Genesis, the 27th chapter, it tells you when it was given, all right? Isaac gave a blessing to uh, Jacob and Esau, all right, his sons, all right, and Esau got the blessing of the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven, all right, uh, 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 and, and then Jacob got the promises of the kingdom to come, all right, but Esau, he got the promise of, of the, pretty much the earth in his possession, the dew of heaven and you know, all the best places on earth and, and this and that, but, but the catch was, by his sword shall he live, okay, when you go into that word live, it means to sustain life, okay, so how this devil sustains his life on the planet earth, and flourishes the way he does or has been all right is uh, uh through the force of the sword his military might you know and um so but the but emphasis on the lord gave gave him everything man he gave him gave them the technology all right the whole thing about the nuclear you know the whole manhattan project with um damn what's his name it escaped me the, the dude that was a head it, it was in charge of the manhattan project with the whole nuclear thing all right the Lord put it on a spirit to, to create those nukes, all right? Because those are the weapons of the Lord's indignation, man. All right, and that's another lesson. But anyway, so let's read this again. Exodus 9 and 16. And in very deed for this cause have I raised thee up, that for to shew or to show in thee my power, and that my name may, may be declared throughout all the earth, all right? And, and that's the thing. You know, back in ancient Egypt, the Lord's name was declared throughout all the earth because of the destruction that he brought upon that place, man. All right, and great fear fell upon all the heathen nations round about, okay? 
and, and, and in the kingdom to come, it's going to be the same way. All right. America is going to be an everlasting memorial for those who uh, uh, completely and utterly forsake the way of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. All right. It's going to be a desert. All right. Just as Sodom and Gomorrah is not no, no longer inhabited. All right. To this very day, America is going to be the same way, man. Scripture said that Sodom was set for an example for those who afterwards should live ungodly. All right. And this place have done nothing but but live ungodly, man. All right. This is Sodom 2.0. Anyway, so and it's another scripture. I didn't write it down, but um, I brought it out in my other lesson. You know, um, it shall no more be said the Lord liveth that brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of the north. OK, and, and that's where the new Passover is going to be instituted. All right. The, 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 the exodus from America. OK, back then it was the exodus from Egypt, which is. America, Egypt, you know, synonym, you know, same thing. All right. Anyway, now let me jump over to uh, connected with Romans. All right. Precept upon precept. It's connected with Romans. Bear with me. <clears throat> Romans, the ninth chapter, beginning at verse. Let's start at verse 14 or verse 13. Romans 9 and 13, it says, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. All right. Contrary to popular belief, the Lord loves and he hates. He loves a particular group of people, the Israelites, the seed line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and he hates the Edomites, the self the self proclaimed white man. Okay? For 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 good reason. It ain't it ain't the Lord ain't just hating for no reason, man. All right. There's there's a cause and an effect of everything. Anyway, verse 14. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? Most High forbid. Okay, so this is not an unrighteous thing, man. This is how, you know, the Lord, he, he's, he's the ultimate director. He do whatever he want, you know? We just gotta, we just live by faith and hope that we're in the right standing with Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. All right, unless we get fucked up, you know, like Esau gonna get fucked up. Excuse my friends. But uh, verse 15, it says, For he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion, the Israelites. 16. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but to the most high that shows mercy. Right. So, and that's ultimately all we're going to have to bank on in these days of times, man. It's the mercy of the Lord. If not for that, we threw out here. Even now, we threw out here. Or right, we will be destroyed. Okay. So it's all, everything is centered around our faith in Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai and his mercy. All right, because his mercy is great. Verse 16, it says, So then it is, oh, so like it. verse 17, For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, Even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might shew my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. And we just read that in Exodus, the ninth chapter. Okay, verse 18, it says, Therefore he will he have mercy on whom he will have mercy, so like it. And, and whom he will, he hardeneth. All right. Salakia. So like Back in uh, ancient Egypt, as it pertains to Pharaoh, the Lord, it was said over and over again that the Lord hardened his heart. Okay? So he can show his miracles and, you know, his wonders in Egypt. Okay? And it's the same way now with Esau Edom being in power. All right? The Lord is going to heart. He, he already got their heart hardened through their technology. All right? Because his devil got, you know, uh, uh, all these advancements in military weaponry. He thinks that he's unstoppable. You know? He really thinks that can't nothing fuck with him, all right? And the scriptures do say who can make war with the beast, the beast. But guess who can? All right, how about Shmuel Shai, man? Okay, he will. So, going to that point, all right. The Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh. Is that uh my next precept? <clears throat> Well, let me let me uh, read this. This uh, Exodus ten and, and starting at verse one. And the Lord Yahweh said unto Moses, "Go in unto Pharaoh, for I have hardened." Yeah, yeah, that's the point. For I have hardened his heart. All right, heart. The word heart in the Hebrew is lab, lab. All right, meaning your mind. All right, your mind. It ain't talking about the heart that pumps blood, man. I'm talking about your your mind, man, your spirit. All right. The Lord, the Lord put it on his spirit to be like, no, y'all not getting out of Egypt. All right. 
And the Lord putting on Esau's spirit now, like, no, we ain't going to be defeated. We got, we, we too advanced with our technology. All right. We, we better than the most high, according to uh, uh, that devil you've all know, Noah Harari. All right. The understudy of Klaus Schwab, of the world economic leader of the world economic forum. Anyway, <clears throat> verse two. So like it, let me read this again. Uh, Exodus 10 and one. And the Lord said unto, uh, unto Moses, go unto Pharaoh, for I have hardened his heart and the heart of his servants, that I may shew these my signs before him. You see? And that my and that thou mayest tell in the ears of thy son and of thy son's sons what things I have wrought in Egypt and my signs which I have done among them, that ye may know that I am the Lord Yahweh. By Shem Shai. And they in the kingdom to come, just as it was back then, you know, uh, 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 the, the, you know, Israel, you know, was telling the sons and daughters, generation of generation, hey, look, the Lord did great wonders back in Egypt. It was always something that a ref, a reference point, all right, for, for the show, you know, how the Lord has mercy, you know, and and and, and His great power, all right. They would always refer to that. Well, it's gonna be the same way in these days and times when the Lord bring hell upon this Egypt, man. Okay, it is all throughout the kingdom. All right, our sons, 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 sons. <laughs> you know, great, 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 great grandsons. And we're going to all be young. <laughs> you know, they're going to be asking like, hey, how was it in the old world? You know, you lived it. How was it? You know, and it's going to be beautiful, man, to tell them stories. Anyway, um, so that was the point on that. So let me get into some of why Esau, you know, his pride. All right. You know, how the Lord is hardening his heart. Uh, <clears throat> let me get this real quick. Bear with me. I ain't the quickest with getting the precepts, but um, and I'm using a hard copy. I ain't using my phone this time. We start, you know, getting in a, more in the habit of using, you know, the actual scriptures. <clears throat> Bear with me, Salakia. Yeah. Um, damn. Obadiah. Obadiah is like. You know, just one is one chapter, so it's like it's like you forget exactly where it's at. Man. Bear with me. Matter of fact, let me, let me see something. Oh, I can't pause it. Oh, right here, so like <laughs> right in my face. Obadiah one, and uh, let me get right to the point. It says verse uh, Obadiah one and three. The pride of thy heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwelleth in the clefts of the rock. All right. Esau is deceived, all right, through his technology. The pride of his heart, pride of his mind. All right. He got him thinking that his shit don't stink, that he's going to be around forever. All right. The scriptures say that they say within themselves that their houses shall continue forever. Okay. But that's not, that's not, that's not going to be the case, man. You finna, you're going down. All right. Um, says, uh, uh, the pride of thy heart have deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? You see? Verse 4, thou, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, which is the national symbol for America, and as well ancient um, Rome, it says, and, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, you know, satellite systems, and SpaceX, and space exploration whatever you know even though they never went to the moon that's been a, that's a whole fucking lie it says thence will i bring thee down saith the lord okay and that's what's happening now man the lord is is slowly but surely bringing his devil down right and, and it started back then when he first went into um the heavens man all right let me jump over to the book of habakkuk this is the book of habakkuk chapter <clears throat> two in verse 4, it says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not a right in him. Speaking about Esau with his pride is lifted up in pride. But it, that ain't right. The Lord hates pride, man. Proverbs 16 and 18, Pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before fall. All right? And that's what Esau is about to get. All right? So it says, um, But the just shall live by his faith. And that's how we get down, man. We live through faith. Every day, man. We don't, we don't know what can happen, man. So... We say, Lord willing, we'd be able to do this and do that and move and have our being, you know? Lord willing, we'd be around and, and we endure to the end. Lord willing, we are the elect. 
you know. We all, hey, we all, we always got to say that, man. All right, anything else is just pride. All right, but um, so yeah, that was that was a point. Let me get another one. All right, the Book of Jeremiah, chapter <clears throat> forty-nine, and verse. Shalakia. Did I write it down right? Okay, Jeremiah 49 and 16. It says, Thy terribleness hath deceived thee, speaking about Esau, and thy pride and the pride of thy heart. See, Esau's terribleness is talking about his military might. All right, he, he has very terrible power in, in that regard. All right. He, he, America is like the top military power on earth. All right, because the Lord blessed them with that. Okay. But but guess what? The Lord controls those nukes. Okay, you can't shoot no nukes on other countries unless the Lord allow you to do so. Okay, the angels. That's a whole another lesson. I'm gonna do another lesson on that. But the angels actually control the nuclear capability. That's the reason why they always showing up by nuclear facilities and shutting on and offline their nuclear capability. They have that. They have that um, ability to do so. But that's a whole another lesson. But um, so yeah. So Esau. He, he, he proud because of that, you know. It says, O thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, who holdest the height of the hill, though thou shouldest make thy nest as, as high as the eagle, there you go, the eagle again, I will bring thee down from thence, saith the Lord. All right, and we just read that in um, Obadiah. Verse 17, Also Edom shall be a desolation, all right, everyone that goeth by shall be astonished and shall hiss at all the plagues thereof. Okay, and in uh, Revelation 18 chapter backs that up. All right, and, you know they they're gonna uh, cry and wail because nobody buy their merchandise anymore. Okay, because they're gonna it said uh, uh, they're gonna cry and wail at the smoke of her burning. Okay, because they make so much money off this whore. Anyway, check this out: Jeremiah 49 and 18. As the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighboring cities thereof, saith the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, no man shall abide there, neither shall the son of man dwell in it. And I wrote a precept next to the scripture, uh, Revelation 18, 10 to 19. Okay. So, yeah, man, it's going to be it's going to be a place for desert creatures, man. I believe that's in Isaiah, the 13th chapter. All right, a place for desert creatures to, uh, 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 to, and dragons and serpents to, to dwell in, man. In these pleasant homes that we see, these polished mansions, that's going to be inhabited by owls and fucking wolves and whatever desert creature you can think of, man. All right. Now, let me get one more. Um, Just going back to the Exodus. All right, put a little bit more emphasis on. And I, and I should have got the definition for hard and, and the strong, so I didn't write that down. But, you know, he hardened Pharaoh's heart, meaning that he made him proud, pretty much, and, and, and unrelenting in his, uh, you know, pretty much uh, uh, um, to harden meaning to, like, fix the person's mind to where they just not going to change it. All right. That's what the Lord did. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, Exodus 11 and 10, it says. And Moses, and Moses and Aaron did all these wonders before Pharaoh, and the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart so that he would not let the children of Israel go out of his land. Okay? And yeah, man, that's 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 that. And I do have one that just popped into mind. You know, I mention this scripture all the time, but this is uh Revelation Revelation eleven and um Revelation 11 and 8 And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city The great city is America Babylon The whore that rides the beast of EU and NATO Okay um, uh, Revelation 11 and 8 And their dead bodies Speaking about Israel Us being in a dead state Alright In this great city For what uh, For 350 years From 1916 All the way up until the time when, uh, uh, when Abba, Abba Bivens, who was Elijah, stepped upon the scene in 1969, okay, which is a total of 350 years, as the scriptures prophesy, okay, then we rose upon our, our feet, you know, through, through the prophesying 
you know, through the Lord bringing his prophets out, you know, we've seen our, our teachers and therefore the spirit was placed upon us and we stood upon our feet, a great and exceeding army. E Ezekiel the 37 chapter. All right. But um, uh, Revelation 11 and 8 and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, both Sodom and Egypt, Assyria too, Babylon too. There's a lot of titles for this for this horror. Okay, because it embodies all the, the, the ways and philosophy and spirit of those ancient kingdoms that the Lord destroyed. It's all compiled within this one. Uh, 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 it's like a cesspool of wickedness in this place, man. All right. So that, therefore, that's the reason why the judgment is going to be so fucking. So like it. This judgment is going to be so severe. Okay. It says, which is spiritually called Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. All right, crucified meaning exiled is this out of this society. Okay, when you come when you coming in the, in the vibration of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, you're gonna be exiled out too. You know, in, in regards of you know hated of this world, you know uh, uh, the test looked at as detestable, whatever you whatever you can name. Okay, for Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai's sake, man. So yeah, I'm just gonna end it off on that note. I kind of went past a little longer than what I intended, but hey, you know. And just letting the spirit work and the uh, lord willing uh, later on i can do a uh, lesson as it pertains to the passover all right and the significance of the passover all right so hey with that being said lord willing hopefully you edify through this exhortation to the next time i say shalom and a bible ball all right death to babylon